if your car is not your car is not shining again he knows exactly how to make it glitter then this same guy told me that he met one Benz. <laughs> he worked on it for one week last last he ran as in he stopped picking the guys just disappeared into thin air and i thought about the instance when i met one um uh atheist the atheist said let's discuss the pentateuch you know what the pentateuch is Ada? yeah we've had that conversation but you know what the pentateuch is yep okay what is the pentateuch let me ask you Okay, it's a thing like it's the five books in the Bible. No, the Pentateuch is the first five books of Moses. Yeah. Uh huh. That's yeah, why they say the the sixth and seventh book. That's the five books in the Bible. Yeah. So the guy, the atheist was like, the atheist was like, the atheist was like, Moses wrote the first five book of Moses, died, was buried. And continued writing. <laughs> Died and continued writing. Because if you the Pentateuch was attributed to Moses, to Moses. and that's Moses that's died inside the Pentateuch. That's why I called it the first Bible of the Bible. Eh, but Moses died inside the Pentateuch. So how was he able to write it while not being there? Now that is why you now need to understand history. You understand who took over. You understand it. it it's not spiritual. It's history. Of course, there are parts of the Bible that are spiritual. A lot of the Bible is spiritual. There are parts of the Bible that, that are logical. There are parts of the Bible that are historical. In Nigeria, we over-spiritualize everything. And um, I just put this up on social media uh, and people are saying, where's Donald Trump? Okay, we're talking about, how did we start this topic? We're talking about Donald Trump, as in people who were denied visa during Donald Trump's regime, being asked to come back again to apply for free under this regime so they may be favorably considered or they may be considered. I saw the story um, on Instablog, you know, and, and I shared it on my page and I thought about it. Nigerian Christians who interpret Bible spiritually, where it does not need any spiritual understanding, they will turn it to spirit. And then they now started coming up with things like Donald Trump is saving us from the Antichrist. If you study the scriptures, there's no instruction. You see, Ada, unfortunately, I don't share the sentiment many religious people share. Many religious people were taught religion. They were taught what is called black and white thinking. They were taught is either white or black, is good or bad. But the scriptures are not like that. There are instances of gray, there are instances of color. And not everything is spiritually interpreted. Like I said, that's why I wish I could talk to that guy because unfortunately, the guy, um, the guy's phone cut off or he was... What we are practicing as spirituality in Nigeria is religious trauma syndrome, RTS, a complex form of post-traumatic stress disorder. It is a sickness. You will stare logic in the eye and then you'll be interpreting that logic spiritually. Does it make sense? I was trying to explain something. They were saying Donald Trump and eh, that if the Antichrist comes, the end of the world. This end of the world, yeah? Just study history. Start from 1 AD. That's the first year after the death and resurrection of Christ. 200 AD. You will see two instances of where the world was about to end or what was interpreted as the world was about to end. Every century has one or two. Some have four. The, the, the 20th century, I think that's 1900 to uh, the year 2000. That's the 20th century, if I'm correct. The 20th century had, one, the influenza pandemic. 
the world was going to end. Everybody was, you know, the world's about to end. It did not end. They had the second wave of the influenza pandemic. The world is going to end. It did not end. Then they had the first world war. Oh, the world is going to end. It did not end. Then they had the Ogun Hitler, the second world war. That second world war, if you were alive during that period, you would believe that the world was going to end. It didn't end. Then they had the minor, the, the beast is going to come from the east when they taught Saddam Hussein them were the beast during the, the 1990s. There was the Gulf War, Operation Desert Storm, Operation Desert Fox. The world did not end. Then there was the Millennium Bug. 1999, 31st December, crossing over into 1st of January, 2000. We thought the world was going to end. The Millennium Bug. They said all the planes were going to fall out of the sky. At that, when, which year were you born? Wow, that if you're not doing okay, it. Okay, sorry. Were you born in the 90s or in the 2000s? Yeah. Which what? stupid 90s? I shoot you now. What? I that turned to Lizard if you were born in the 90s. Ah, that is crazy. You know it's not possible. But trust me, you might just make her as a Lizard. <laughs> you know? And then the world still did not end. Yes, what Christ was saying was, look, prepare, I can come anytime. But Joe Biden has entered office. The world has not ended. Now, I have, listen, it's like Arsenal and Man U. Sometimes, because I follow Apostle Suleiman on Instagram, sometimes they will be beating Man U. Apostle Suleiman will be tweeting. Oh, this man, you, they know how to fall somebody's hand. Sorry, Arsenal. He's an Arsenal. I'll be reading and laughing. He will not come there and say, Arsenal is a game, is a club chosen by God. The moment he says that, he spoils everything. It is football is fun. I don't know if I'm making sense to you, Ada. Yeah. So, Donald Trump is politics. Don't, re don't spiritualize Donald Trump's loss. They're doing all these things to manipulate you. And you read Deuteronomy chapter 18 from verse 20 to 22, didn't you? I did. He said, any prophet that gives a prophecy that does not come to pass must be... He, 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 they must buy them according to the law of Moses. So I was like, if we still operated under that law today, many people go down by you. Then somebody now called and said, hey, we are interpreting the Bible uh, carnally. I've heard that all my life. Ada, I studied Bible in Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, Latin. The mistakes in the Bible are human, like uh, Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12. They interpret that verse spiritually to their own detriment. That's where they got the name Satan. That's where they got the name Lucifer for Satan. Today, don't we all know that Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 was not talking about any earthly king. It was talking about the king of Babylon, most likely Nebuchadnezzar. That's how they went to interpret the Bible uh, spiritually and said the Ramses was the king under which the exodus happened. Meanwhile, Ramses' body is still preserved, though. Google Ramses' body. Ramses, Ramses is a, one of the only pharaohs from Egypt that has a passport. They made a passport for Ramses so they could carry the mummy up and down. Just Google Ramses' passport. You will see. <laughs> so the Egyptians have the fully preserved, and in according to Egyptian history, there was no exodus under Ramses. Meanwhile, when both people with their spirituality, they all wrong, go do movie. Of Ramses and Moses growing up together. There was no exodus under Pharaoh Ramses or under his father. And there are a lot of people who believe that there was no exodus ever. <laughs> I don't share that sentiment. But I can tell you historically it has been proven that there was no exodus under Ramses or under his father. Or even under the Pharaoh that came after Ramses. I've forgotten what his name is. Abby, 
Historians can tell. I'm not saying there was no exodus. I believe in the scriptures, but I believe that men misinterpreted. There was a time when I've forgotten what part of the scriptures they wrote about camels, and camels did not exist in the Middle East at that time. So, you see, Christ said in Matthew chapter 13, verse 12, if you listen to my teachings, you have understanding until you have an abundance of knowledge. You can't follow Christ and be ignorant. But you see, religion has made us ignorant. Somebody said my CRK was a lie. Yes, Ram, uh, Exodus did not happen under Pharaoh Ramses. Google it. There are people who studied Egypt as a university degree. It's called Egyptology. Yeah. You didn't know? No. There's, there are professors of Egyptology. They st- all they studied in their life was Egypt. There are people that have PhD in Egyptology. Google Egyptology now. Google it. Now. So, okay. can you see Egyptology? Yeah. The study of ancient Egyptian history, language, literature, religion, architecture, and art from the 5th millennium BC until the end of its native religious practices in the 4th century AD. So, when people studied, you know what it is when when people tell you they are studying something? They they will not be reading it on the internet. They will be in that Egypt digging, 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 digging. They will find one little spoon. They will go and date it. They will time it. They They will... photograph it they will test it they will do everything so if somebody is like is like me spending my life studying french then you now tell me that the french language does not exist <laughs> do you understand what i'm saying my sister yes i get you so so people study egyptology and they've come with the conclusion that the exodus did not anybody telling you that the exodus happened under ramsey spiritually is a, is is leading you into his level of ignorance and it's not just that there are many many things and christ wants you to study because human beings make mistakes just read only King James. Let's forget Bible. Read King James. You will see King James is filled with error. The word Easter is a pagan word that King James used to replace Passover. Pasha. That's the original word in the Bible. King James replaced it with Easter from a Teutonic goddess of fertility. Ada, maybe there's computer in front of you. I have my phone. I'm using type Easter. Studio. Beside it, type Bible Encyclopedia. Okay, this is the last thing we're doing. I'm giving you an R so we can have an R at the chat station. Easter and what? Bible Encyclopedia. Just type okay. the two words. Sorry, I said typo. Okay. Just type the two words. Easter and Bible Encyclopedia. Sorry, three words. Okay. Read yeah, read it out. The derivation of the name Easter is uncertain, but according to Beder or Bed, the it's derived from Istre, a Teutonic spring goddess to whom sacrifices were offered in April. The pagan festival probe gave way to the Christian celebration of Christ's resurrection. It's held by some. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can see what I'm talking about. The word Easter has nothing to do with Christianity. It's pagan. And if you start studying Teutonic goddess, because the problem is once you start, once you get there, you now start studying Teutonic goddesses, you know, you would realize that even our angels are derived from Greek mythology. Google nemesis just type nemesis greek god you will see that's the picture you have of an angel in churches today angels don't look like that just greek google, goddess. just yeah greek goddess nemesis yeah what does it look like so true <laughs> that is where they got the angels from meanwhile if you read ezekiel chapter one 
Oh, the pictures are scary. And Ezekiel chapter 10. They don't, the angels don't look like winged, human beings with wings. Not at all. Scary, funny creatures. The angels. Yeah. Yes, now, that's why um, in Luke chapter 1, when Zachariah saw the angel, Zachariah was petrified. He was frightened. How you see a human being with wings and be frightened? Let's not lie to ourselves now. But when you see two circles turning inside themselves and the whole circle is covered with eye, or you see a, a being that has leg of cow, face of man, side of lion, side of bull, and back of eagle, and the whole body is covered with eyes. You understand? Yes, I get you, but that agrees it's a minute gone past one. Don't worry, guys. We'll, yes. we'll, 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 we'll congregate again tomorrow. Um, Definitely. Later today. Later today, we'll congregate again. And what was the essence of what I was talking about? Let me end with this. It's okay to okay. have a favorite. It's okay, okay to like Donald Trump. It's okay to like Joe Biden. Biden. But don't spiritualize it. Mm. And, and, and I'm begging pastors now. You guys need to be careful what you spiritualize. It's not everything that you must robe into one spiritual, one spiritual charade. There are things that are physical. There are things that are historical. There are things that are natural. So, please, guys. Be careful with these things. And I hand over to you too. Nigeria is one of the most spiritualized countries of all. And also one of the most sinful, one of the poorest, one of the most unsafe, one of the most one of the countries with the lowest life expectancy rate. So what has this spiritualization done? Those countries that don't have the spiritualization we have, they are developing. Here's the, the, here's the greatest irony of Nigeria, yeah? Amsterdam, where prostitution is legal, does not have the paternity fraud rates of nigeria nigeria has one of the highest paternity fraud rates in the world and we are also one of the most spiritual we have one of the lowest life expectancy rates in the world and we're also one of the most spiritual we are one of the poorest in the world and also one of the most spiritual we 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 are one of the countries where people hate each other so 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 vehemently and yet we are still so spiritual we are underdeveloped and spiritual this spirituality is a problem, in my humble opinion. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. See you tomorrow or see you later on today. Hopefully, That's we will right. talk about something else. Ada, thank you for borrowing us your time. It's all right, Daddy Freeze. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Okay. All right, guys. That was uh, Live and Dangerous with Ada. Catch us every single weekday, uh, Monday through thursday okay four days a week on 99.3 nigeria info 99.3 nigeria info is the best radio station on earth a and i'll tell you about this yeah ever since i joined nigeria info just so i can keep up with my colleagues i'm always listening to nigeria info in traffic guys i've there was a day nigeria info i've never said this before there was a day Nigeria Info saved me from driving into a riot. I was listening to Nigeria Info and ShopRite, there was a riot going on ahead of me in ShopRite. And Ijoma Esek was on the ground reporting. And as the events were unfolding, Ijoma was narrating to the presenters, I don't know who was on the radio back then, and I was in the car listening and, and that guided me. So if you guys come to Lagos, please make sure you listen to 99.3 Nigeria Info. We've got Sheriff, we've got um, Sandra, uh, Ada, we're Mimo, Joyce, um, yours truly, Daddy Freeze. Did I forget anybody? Femi and the gang. You know? So... Uh, you guys need need to be a part of that it is is actually very very awesome do support us and listen and of course place your adverts there too and of course you can also place adverts on my channel me i did charge advert anytime oh. 
even inside <laughs> report i want to report uh, who saw my who saw my um response i charge advert to everything is is <laughs> per second billing for those of us in diaspora can you start the live much earlier let me apologize to you in nigeria for we had sports so i started my show at three minutes to midnight so please this wasn't my fault this was football lovers who just have to hear what's going on with a game of football so blame the football people not me binta i see you god bless you so thank you so much everyone do take care of yourselves hope to see you tomorrow i'm going to be with bookie forex with daddy freeze and bookie is going to be happening uh by 2 p.m god willing um we're going to make this happen we're going to make this rock so you guys <clears throat> so you guys need to be a big part of this okay love you all take care of yourselves see you tomorrow bye 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 ada kelvin Vinta Nobel, that's my brother. Bye, guys. Don't stop talking. Always demand the truth. Believe the truth. Stand for the truth. Love you all. See you tomorrow.